Redo dono wa asamu wa ina yeka nise chiche ni die na ketu ya ewo suru. Kuyye ni pa ye ti ati asifuasa asisusu die. Ewo se ujumeni ya adia ni sansu itimi kena ketu ya sinebe ya. Ebeshe ni mkwain ono so itimi ya yana hono itimi. Ena mayiso ma mrashe bejoni ya owo madina konsistuansi. Eya hono nabo fansi susu. Edi juma die bi ashishe sokura. Na ono nabo walanchi juma die kufufro kwa ebe timi ya buwa ama chichafu onso asho mkwain. Nomo so itimi ya yoro mho. Nomo itimi ya chirade. Sanse. Nibuta inya ane se. Nikasa ye muno. Oche se. Ono wankasa oku skuno eye oche chini ni timi e buwa no. E so na se mwono nsu e timi wye sku. Ndi se wa wye sku nsu dia. Ne hube hiyan se. Chiche ni na obuwa no. Nuntu pe jane na asro. Nuntu be ye bibi. Nuntu se e dia shini mkwa. Nse ne be ya. Be ma afu fro nsu. E timi aye bibi sa nsu. Abuwa ma omayga na nsu. Se uye chiche ni na se wa chade ya. Ama ache che juma nsu. A timi aye akono yi pa. Na mra oni nwambo e kasa no. Se no ka ni nsa me e defo. Honor for me to be here this afternoon to join in the official launching of the 2022 Best Teacher Award scheme in Medina Constituency. Now, my ultimate goal for this award is to have very inspired and motivated teachers teaching children in Madina Constituency. Inspired teachers. There is no way we are going to have great students. I remember very well when I was a student and I was at a basic school. I struggled every day to go to school. The decision to go to school was based on whether I would be accepted in the classroom or I will not be accepted. Because rising up in poverty, in I mean very deprived area and putting yourself together to go to school was a difficult thing. Sometimes in the morning at noon time, you would have to travel many miles to go to water before you can come back home to bath to go to school. And so you get to school late. There were times that I had very tattered uniforms and I would wear them to go to school. The only reason why I kept my eyes on education was because I had teachers who were willing to take care of me, who were empathetic, who provided pens, pencils, who provided extra exercise books. And that was why I kept myself So I am a great person today because I had a great teacher. So it takes great teachers to give birth to great students and great achievements. And the only way the teacher can become great is when the teacher is motivated. The fact of demotivation in teachers in Ghana is not a hidden truth. Our teachers are no one motivated across board. When you look at the conditions and the way teachers teach in Ghana, it's unbelievable. The congestion in the classroom, the heat in the classroom, I mean, the number of streets they need to mark, the number of I mean, pupils they have to attend to, the, the, the welfare of those kids, they are, they are medical, they are social well-being, they are mental well-being. Everything is based on the teacher. And yet, the teacher is the least cared about in our jurisdiction. Very, very sad. When you travel to other jurisdictions, you go to Europe, you go to US. I started last year with the best teacher awards by Rotary Club in the US. And when they were calling the best teachers, I was so surprised. Why? You would see a teacher in a basic school. When they read the background of that teacher, some of them have that multiple master's degree, some have PhDs, and yet they were in the classroom teaching at the basic level. Why? Because they are motivated to teach them. Because they are paid well. They are well educated. And so, the issue of teacher motivation is a national assignment. This is a call on the Minister of Education and all, I mean, people who care about education, 
that we must decentralize the best teacher award, the national best teacher award. The Ministry of Education should partner interest persons like they will be doing in my so that we can decentralize the motivation of teachers to the various municipal, I mean, municipal directorates of education. That is the only way I believe that we can get teachers more motivated to serve our children well. So, it is my hope and prayer that the teachers in Medina would take advantage of this opportunity. Let's not take it for granted. In Africa, it is easier to always point fingers at other people without looking at what we ourselves are doing. So I want to encourage every teacher that let's give up our best. There are times that what we are giving in here may still not be adequate to compensate for what you do. But remember that what you're doing in secret, something will be rewarded by God. And then we have to say, Samajam Rashad, Continuity, Continuity, Ekandi,